Hello, and welcome back to my Final Fantasy XII Let's Play. Okay, so we are now in the Pharaoh's First Ascent. Um, we are going to figure this out. This is a relatively large dungeon. There's some complication to it, if I remember correctly. Although, there may be some points that I don't remember. Uh, let me go ahead. You know what? Let's just go ahead and turn off Decoy. I don't need that right now. Okay. Nothing happens. Great. Okay, well, we're going to start going on to the south side here. Uh, let me first run over here. Black orbs. Okay. I'm sh I remember there's something with the black orbs, but I think that's for the basement. Uh, if memory serves, which we will definitely need to go to because that's where the wither technique is uh, And I definitely want that. Okay, so that's as far as we can go We'll, we'll most likely we're gonna just fully explore this area. We'll grab the map And we'll be good. So none of these none of these dudes are gonna be any challenge obviously because we are We are definitely overpowered well, I say that I mean We're not overpowered. What, yeah, we are. What am I talking about? Um, we're overpowered in the sense that uh, I ran the trial and we got a ton of like equipment that we would not normally have. So, yeah. at least not at this point in the game. Okay. Oh, that's what it is. So I have to. I didn't even notice that before. I should probably start collecting those right now. Okay, Fran, do me a favor. Hit all of us. Hit that. Thank you. Alright. Very good. Now we'll kill these little horsies. <laughs> the map is over there, I'm pretty sure. We just can't really can't really see it from here. Yeah, the, the, the little dudes that teleport around are really quite annoying, if I'm being honest. Okay. So first ascent is now we've got the map for that. Okay, great. Oh, oh, I forgot the orbs. I gotta remember to pick the orbs up because at some point that's gonna be important. Oh, okay, so they they die. I gotta. This is gonna be important later, so I might as well be picking them up right now. <sighs> really. They disappear so fast. It's going to be a little irritating. I don't remember how many I need. I probably should have looked that up. But I'm going to pick up some for sure. I doubt we really need that protection, really, but... So is it... Okay. Yeah, I hopefully I'll know what that's for later.
This should be a guaranteed pair of Hermes boots. Yeah, or Hermes sandals. Okay. Maybe you have to use the black orbs to get into the door, too. I'm actually not sure. Really? And if you wait too long, they, the little the black orbs just disappear, take off. So, Chimera Head is a uh, monograph drop, I'm pretty sure. This really slows down the killing process, though. At some point, we're going to need a, a metric ton of these, I'm pretty sure. I really should have looked into that before I started this. But, since we're picking them up now... Can you just let me... Yeah, I'm just kind of like spamming so I can get... So I can get the orbs now. Nothing quite like collecting black orbs. I wish they just gave them to you when you killed. That would be that would be really convenient. But of course that's not that's not how it works. So, instead, we'll pick them up manually. Okay. Oops. I guess I need to go around and explore that other area. <sighs> Sorry about that. I had to sneeze. Come on now. Don't be finicky about where I'm standing. Okay, so now we're on the other side of this. Use black orb. Okay. The first seal has been broken. Alright. Okay, so I guess that means we have to do that on all of them. That's, like, that, that number of... Um... I wonder if we have to do that on all the altars. <laughs> I don't remember. Okay, well. Let's go figure that out. And while we're going, we'll just be getting more of these, because one thing I do know is the basement requires a lot of them. The normal light game might not need many, but I'm going to have to collect a ton of those. I may actually uh, do that like off camera because it's, it's not exactly the, the most compelling thing in the world, just killing things and getting the orbs. Maybe I'll, if I do it like this, I already have a lot of them done. There's some theory. How, how on earth could that thing carry me? I do hate having to stop and get the black orbs, though. This just really slows down the pace, but I get it. They wanted, like, some new mechanic in here. This is still... shows it's still locked, so I guess we got no choice here. Come on, man. Where 
use the orb. I do hope this pays off later. I don't think I came out this way, so let's see if there's a... Uh... Okay. This is, this is like the, the beginning, the very beginning of this, so... Second seal has been broken, okay. And she's already out of magic, that's not a great sign. I mean, I don't really need all this stuff going off constantly. If I'm being, if I'm being honest, you know what? Speaking of that, maybe we do. Maybe we just turn off a lot of this, especially for her. But that's not what I meant. We'll turn off that buff stuff. We'll turn off bubble. We don't really need haste. Now, what's going to happen is I'm going to completely forget that I turned all this stuff off. <laughs> and then I'm going to wonder why things aren't working. So, there's definitely that. I put telekinesis on uh, Bosch, by the way. I forgot to do that a while back. I got to I kind of got to leave all this on her. I mean, I could I could take this. All right, cool. I'm good with that. We just won't worry about it cuz to be quite honest with you, I mean, let's be let's be real here. There is no way anything is going to be able to hold up to the damage I can dish out currently, so I think I already came this way, but Gotta have those black orbs. Give me those black orbs. Oh my gosh. Let me pick the orb up. Oh yeah, we already came this way. Come on, dude. Teleport up here, please. That's the only time where it's good. Teleports to me, so I don't have to run to him. Okay. Where are we headed here? Oh, I see. So, of course, I went the wrong way. Surprise, surprise. Yeah. Just think of it as bl uh, black orb farming at this point, because that's basically what it is. Is it the most compelling content in the world? Probably not, but it is... What we're gonna have to do it at some point, so now let's run around here and hopefully this pedestal will let us do the same thing. Yep. That should be the seal. Hopefully. Yeah, it is. Okay. Meanwhile, if you're wondering how many we have. 42. Uh, if memory serves, there's like hundreds that we need. But I could be wrong. I'm going to do another save. We don't, we don't really need it, but I'll do it real quick just to be safe. Alright, now we got to make our way back over to that. So, let's do that real quick. That this dungeon is definitely not designed to be completed too terribly quickly, but we've got three tiers of this that get progressively, I think, more complicated. Plus, remember, at some point we'll come back and do the basement as well. 
can't remember if I just said this or not, but I, th I think we need a couple hundred of the black orbs to do the basement, which we obviously will be doing because that is where... I know I've said this probably at least 15 to 20 times now, but uh, that is where Wither is, and I am I am not going to rest until I get Wither. And of course, Wither is at the very, very depths of the basement, so absolute um, full investment for that. Okay. We'll read the inscription. I have no idea what that means, but okay. Guess we'll figure it out. Cool effect. Alright, so what do we have here exactly? I don't know, but I'm sure we'll figure it out. Kind of a weird... Oh, look at you, buddy. I don't remember, actually, to be quite honest. Okay, great. I, again, I've already fought... I fought all the bosses in this tower at once in the trial, so I doubt any of this is going to be all that terribly scary, but... It's like a turtle with no head. It's kind of weird. Pandemonium, I think is his name. Yeah. Oh, she's, uh... Great. It's always annoying. It's a neat boss, but... I'm trying to get a good angle of it here. I would kill to be able to zoom out on this game. Well, we can't do anything right now, so I guess let's try some techniques. I don't think this is going to work, but I'll try it. Nope. Shades of black. Sure. Is this just one of those times where we just have to sit here and wait for the stuff to like sometimes there's like a two minute countdown for it? I don't I really don't like the end crap. That's just annoying to me. Because he would have been dead 90 years ago. Maybe that's why they do it though. Okay, there it is. Cool. I mean, I guess that's to force you to survive, but kind of, kind of a weird way of doing it, honestly. Well, not really. I mean, I guess they do it in MMOs as well, where they just make them immune to certain things, or and then they call in minions. I guess I would rather have them go immune than call like 900 minions in. Although in this case, it would have probably been pretty easy, but. Now, of course, as we move forward with the story, when we beat this area, Redis will leave, which means, you know, when I, if and when I go to the trial again to try to, to try to fully complete it, which, if I get with her, I should be able to do it, honestly. It's just a matter of getting it done. Um, I don't know if that'll be in this series or not, but um, I obviously won't have Redis, uh, which should be fine. Okay, does that mean we go back now and use the elevator? I'm going to assume the answer is yes, but let's find out. Oh, let's get some more orbs while we're here, shall we? Get the orb, please. Oh my god, are you serious? No. Oh, 
I know, it's pretty monotonous, but it is it is something we're going to have to do, so I thought I'd show the whole experience here. Alright, am I going the wrong way? Because that's what I typically do, so... I know we didn't kill him in the first shot, that's impressive. Not buffed up. Okay, I think we go up here. I bet they assume most people are not going to pick every orb up, so... Or maybe some people would, but... I just happen to know it is going to be a thing later, so might as well do it while we're... While we're here. I don't even know if these drop on the higher floors. I would imagine the answer is yes, but at the same time, I mean, maybe not. I don't know. And maybe you can use these to get back out. I've, I'm not really sure I've ever tried that. Okay, so... I actually don't remember what to do. I guess it's this. Oh, this must be what we use at the beginning, and then I think the elevator unlocks later or something. That's cool. Okay, well, we will start our, our journey here with first flight. Now, you may remember... Um, there, you can see that there are a lot of areas in the first ascent. So, what we're looking for on the first flight, Wellspring Ravel in the third flight, right here. So that right there, that area, is where we're going to get holy, hopefully, if we do everything properly. Uh, but yeah, we are definitely going to... This is, this is going to span multiple episodes for obvious reasons. Do we have a dragon helm? Just out of curiosity. It certainly could not be better than a grand helm, I would not think. But you can get you can get a dragon helm here, and you can get a demon shield here. I mean, we'll explore regardless. But okay, well let's let's do some ex exploration here real quick. We can also confirm whether they drop the stones or not. No, I don't think they do. Okay, well that's at least one thing we don't have to really worry about. Now there is a teleporter over here. Well actually it's a... This is fake. Fake wall. Okay, there's your demon shield. And let's go get... I don't know if you can even... I can't use this yet, can I? No, okay. So I don't actually have a choice. I'm just, I guess I'm remembering when I actually completed this area, like there's another way to go up and down. The good news is... It looks like it's just pushing us in the direction and there's just no black orbs to pick up anymore, which in a way is actually kind of a relief, so... We'll, I'll still have to get more of them, I'm sure of that, but... And as you, you can hear that sound, that you get like um, bridge fragments the more of those guys you kill, so you can't really skip them. What is she casting? Oh, holy. Redis is casting holy. That's what he's doing. That's funny. 
interesting. Okay, we'll kill this guy. See, but you can see the, the bridge isn't done yet, so we gotta go this way first. Next potion. Now there's some there are some false walls in here, I'm, I'm pretty sure as well. Okay, there's your dragon helm. I just want to look at it. I'm sure it's not anywhere near as good as what I have, but yeah, 41. Okay. I mean, it's not terrible, but it's not really that, that good. All right, well, let's go see. I know there's a lot of, uh, like, fa false walls in here, so let's see if... Yeah, this whole bridge is good. Okay. Yeah. Huh. Great. Now, I'm also kind of following along just to make sure I don't miss stuff. Um, like, on a separate screen, just to... Just to ensure that I'm doing everything properly, because I really... I don't want to have to backtrack, obviously. That would not be great. Okay, so now we're into the next area. We pretty much got everything you can get there. There's a, a Persis bow and a Chaperon. Um, they're both 100% here, so let's see where we start, okay? So it's nothing of huge importance to us, but we'll still pick it up just for the sake of completionist, obviously. Yeah. Well, not completionist, because we're definitely not doing that, but you know what I mean. This is not a completionist run, otherwise I'd be playing this for 900 more years. There's so much in this game. They, they don't they don't make games quite like they used to, I don't think. You know what? Since we're doing it like this, I think I am going to turn regen on. Hmm. Alright, now... We got for this. Yeah, this is probably one of the rooms that's got a fake wall or something in it. I mean, it's not like it's that hard to see because it tells you if there's a fool's wall or whatever they call it. Yeah, fool's fa facade or whatever. You just walk up to the walls and. Okay. Almost missed that one. I don't even know if Holy is hitting before we kill, but it's cool to see a spell go off constantly, so I guess that's that's neato bambito. Okay. Okay, there's the chevron or whatever it is. I'm gonna assume that's a helm. Yep. Okay. Not great, but fine, I guess. And this is where we would have walked up. I mean, if you can't if you can't see that there's a fool's wall there, then I don't know what to tell you. Okay, so that should be the, the whole bridge completed. So these are the easy ones. That's the one I need to get to for sure. 24. Oh, that's just the Perseus bow. We don't really need that. Interesting. I wonder how we get that. You must have to come back for it. Luckily, that's not holy, because it would really irk me if I had to move past it. 
Okay, so now I think we're going to be entering into the area. Third flight, Ravel. Yes, this is where Holy is. And on that note, we're going to explore this area in the next episode. I do hope you enjoyed this. We will continue with the story, obviously. It may be a couple of episodes before we get through this entire tower. Um, I can't really remember, but I know it's relatively long. So in any event, I uh, do hope you enjoyed, and we will see you in the next one. Have a good one.